If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello, space fans. Today, we're going to create a 3D picture of our entire solar system, including all the planets, dwarf planets, and asteroids. So to create your 3D solar system, we will need lots and lots of different size polystyrene balls. So ask an adult to cut the polystyrene balls in half, and then you can either sand the middle or rub it together to create the smooth edges. So I have different sizes for Mercury, Venus and Earth are slightly bigger, a slightly smaller one for Mars, teeny tiny one for Ceres, a big one for Jupiter, a second to large ball for Saturn, two medium sized ones for Uranus and Neptune, then the second smallest for Pluto and Makemake. I used the same size one for Haumea but squashed it down so it's egg shaped and last but not least another little one for Eris. So the first planet we're going to paint is Mercury and we're going to paint it a grey and then leave it to dry and then go over with the details with darker greys, black and white. So Mercury is the first and smallest of the official planets in the solar system. It has a temperature in the daytime of 430 Celsius and plummets at night time to minus 180 Celsius. This is largely down to Mercury having no atmosphere. It takes only 88 days for Mercury to orbit the Sun and rotates on its axis once every 59 days. Mercury also has no moons because it is thought to be too close to the Sun to have any moons as the Sun's gravity would pull it in. And as you can see here, I've been painting on all the craters as lots of objects hurtle towards the Sun because of the sun's gravity, and a lot of them hit Mercury. And here is our finished Mercury. So the second planet we're painting is Venus. We're going to be using yellows, oranges, and reds to paint Venus. Venus is the second and hottest planet. It also spins backwards, or in retrograde. It is 464 Celsius on Venus and takes 225 Earth days to orbit our Sun. However, its day is 243 days long, the longest of any planet, and its day is longer than its year. Venus also has no moons. However, it was thought that Venus had a moon a long time ago it was theorised it crashed into it. And here we have our finished Venus. The third planet we're painting is Earth. So the first thing to do is give it a coat of blue paint, let it dry, and then we're going to do the details with green, white and yellow paint. So Earth is the third planet from the Sun and it's where we all live on. It's the only known planet to have organic life, as it sits in the Goldilocks zone in the solar system. The Goldilocks zone is basically a place in the solar system where the sun can reach, where the possibility of life on a planet is possible. The average temperature of Earth is 14 Celsius, and it takes 365 days to orbit our sun, which we call one year. It has a rotation on its axis of 24 hours, which we call our day. We also have one moon, and it's the only moon or celestial body a human has ever stepped foot on. So as you can see, we are using the green to paint in all of the continents and a bit of yellow to show the more drier desert areas. 
We will also be using the white to show the ice caps and colder areas on the planet. So here we have our finished Earth. The fourth planet we're painting is Mars, so we're going to use red and brown paints and a little bit of white. Mars is the fourth planet from our Sun. It's the last of the rocky or terrestrial planets, which means you can walk on them. It also has the highest mountain in the entire solar system, called Olympus Mons. The temperature of Mars can have lows of minus 153 Celsius and highs of 20 Celsius. It takes 607 days to orbit our Sun and a rotation on its axis, or one day, is 24 hours and 37 minutes, which is slightly longer than Earth. Mars also has two moons. And there's our finished Mars. So next we're going to paint the first dwarf planet, Ceres, and we're going to paint it lots of different shades of grey. Ceres is the smallest official dwarf planet and the only one located in the inner solar system. It is located inside of the asteroid belt. The temperature in the daytime on Ceres is minus 73 Celsius and at night time it is around minus 143 Celsius. It takes 1,682 days or around 4.6 years to go around our sun once. And one day on Ceres is only nine hours. Ceres has no moons, but it does have lots of asteroid friends. And here is our finished Ceres. So now we're going to paint Jupiter. We're going to paint Jupiter lots of shades of yellow, brown, orange, and red. Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system, and it's the first Jovian planet, or gas giant. This means it doesn't have a solid surface you could walk on. It's also the largest planet in our entire solar system. It could fit approximately 1,300 Earths inside of it. The temperature on Jupiter is an average of minus 110 Celsius and it takes 12 years to go around our Sun. To rotate once takes 10 hours, so a day is quite short. Jupiter also has 95 moons. We have also painted the big red spot on Jupiter, which is believed to be a giant storm, which is about twice the size of our Earth. Here is our finished Jupiter. The next planet we have is Saturn. So we're going to paint that with similar colours to Jupiter, with beiges, more whites and a little bit of brown. Saturn is the sixth planet in our solar system and it's known for its rings. All Jovian planets have rings but Saturn's is the most dense and easily spotted from Earth with a telescope. Saturn also has the most moons of all the planets in our solar system, as it has 146 official moons. It has an average temperature of minus 178 Celsius, and it takes 29 years to go around our Sun once. It rotates on its axis once or has one day of 11 hours. After Saturn's finished drying, you can create a ring. You can either paint it on or use some card and stick it on around Saturn, which we will do at the end when we stick it on the whole picture. The next planet we have is Uranus, so we're going to paint that a lighter blue. Uranus is an ice giant and the seventh planet from the Sun. It is the coldest planet in our solar system, as 
it has an average temperature of minus 195. However, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Uranus was minus 224.2 Celsius. It also rotates backwards and on its side. It takes 84 Earth years to go around our sun once and has a day of around 17 hours. Uranus has 28 moons. And there's our finished Uranus. And for the last official planet, we have Neptune. So we're going to paint that a darker blue and with shades of white. Neptune is the eighth and last official planet from the sun. It is also the windiest planet in our solar system. It has an average temperature of minus 214 Celsius. It takes approximately 165 years for Neptune to go once around our sun. And one rotation on its axis, or one day, is 16 hours. Neptune has 16 official moons. And here is our finished Neptune. So the next planet is the dwarf planet Pluto. So we're going to paint it with browns, beige, white, and a little bit of red. Pluto used to be the ninth official planet, but it was moved to a dwarf planet in 2006. So it's now the second official dwarf planet from the sun. And it is located in the Kuiper belt with the rest of the official dwarf planets apart from Ceres. It also has a distinct heart-shaped pattern on it, which is nicknamed the Tomba Regio. Pluto has an average temperature of minus 232 Celsius, and it takes 248 years to go around our sun once. It has a day of 153 hours, and it also spins on its side, just like Venus and Uranus. It has five official moons. One of them is so big that Pluto and the biggest moon Charon orbit each other. And here's our finished Pluto. Next is Haumea. So we're going to paint Haumea grey. Haumea is the third official dwarf planet from the Sun and it's shaped like an egg. It also has a small ring around it. It has an average temperature of minus 240 Celsius. It takes 285 years to go around our Sun one time and it rotates on its axis once or has a day of four Earth hours. It is so fast the day, that's why it is so warped and egg-shaped. Haumea also has two official moons. And there's our finished Haumea. Next we're going to paint Make Make red and a little bit of brown. Make Make is the fourth official dwarf planet from the Sun. It has an average temperature of minus 243 Celsius and it takes 305 years to go around our Sun once. It has a rotation or one day of 23 hours, so it's a little shorter than Earth's day and it has one official moon. And there's our finished Make Make. And last but not least, we're going to paint Eris grey as well. Eris is the last official dwarf planet of the solar system. However, there are many dwarf planet candidates already discovered, so there could be soon more official dwarf planets. Eris also has a very odd orbit around the Sun. It takes 557 years to go around our Sun one time, and has one day of 16 hours. It also has a temperature range of minus 217 Celsius to minus 243 Celsius. Eris also has one official moon. And there's our finished Eris. So next we're going to lay all the planets in order. So here we have Mercury, then Venus, Earth, 
Mars, Ceres, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Maya, Make Make, and Eris. Next you can either draw or paint on a sun to the side of Mercury, like this. So now we have our sun on the side, we can go over the order of the planets. So the closest planet to the sun is Mercury. The second we have Venus, then Earth, the fourth is Mars, the first dwarf planet is Ceres, then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Amea, Make Make, and Eris. So next we're going to put on some labels. There's one for the sun. There's another for the planet. So we're going to use red for the rest of the official planets. Then we need five more for the dwarf planets. And then we're going to put two more stickers here. This will be for the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt. Next, write in all of the names we've gone over. So the last thing we're going to do for our picture is stick on lots of space images for our Kuiper belt and asteroid belt. If you don't have stickers, you could just draw them on. And here we have our finished solar system complete with planets, dwarf planets and asteroids. So we'll have a little close up of our complete picture. Of course you can use whatever materials or mediums you want. So you could colour it, paint it, you could use stickers like we did, you could write directly onto the card, however you like. However, this is our complete finished solar system 3D picture. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning all about the solar system with us today and hope to encourage you to create something yourself. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.